let's learn how to create an awesome dust or powder explosion effect in Photoshop in this super simple tutorial. First, we're going to need to download the Photoshop action. So come to the Envato Elements Marketplace, make sure you have an account, and locate the Sand Dust Powder Explosion Photoshop action. I have left the link in the description. So once located, click Download. Depending on your intended usage, either assign it a license if you're using it for commercial purposes, or if you're using just for personal, you can download without the license. So set up accordingly and click download. Locate your downloaded file, so mine's in my plugins folder, and simply double click to unzip the file. Once opened, inside the folder, you'll have two files, the action and the brushes. So we need to load both of those into Photoshop. Once downloaded, open up Photoshop, come to file, open, locate the image you would like this action applied to. So mine's in my images folder, select it, click open. Before we treat the image, let's load in the action. File, open, locate the action. So mine's in the plugins folder. Select the folder, go into the base folder, under enable, select all documents, and select both the action file, hold shift, select the brush, and press open, and this will now load the action and the brushes into Photoshop. Check the installation by going to Window, Actions, and there you can see in the Actions panel, the animated sand dust explosion action is there, ready to be used. So let's come back to the canvas. Make sure the image is flat, one layer, locked background. Next, make a selection of the subject. So depending on your version of Photoshop, you can either use the lasso and magnetic tools, or you can use the object selection tools. So I'm in a newer version of Photoshop, so I'm simply gonna press select subject. With the subject selected, I'm now gonna create a mask and refine this. So select the marquee tool and click select and mask. You don't have to be too precious with this, but I am going to refine the selection a little more. So for example, here I want to add the light to the ball. So make sure my brush is selected, press the add mask brush, and then I will simply color over this bit to add that section of the mask. So you can be as precious or as loose with this as you want. In the properties panel, let's add a little feather and under output settings, select decontaminate colors and make sure your output is set to new layer with layer mask. Click OK. So our selection is masked, we can take this a step further. So say we want parts of this effect to cross over the body, come to the layers panel, make sure the mask is selected, not the layer. So select the mask, select your brush tool on the left hand side, select a soft round brush with a low to nothing harshness, and then with your fill and background color, make sure you've got black selected. And what you can do now, if I make this brush a little smaller by using the open brackets, I can add to the mask by painting over certain sections. This way then the effect will cross over parts of the body. And there you go. So I can play around with that as much as I want. Once I'm then happy with the selection, I now need this to be a flat layer because otherwise the action won't work. So select the background. We can even toggle this on if we like. Press new layer, hold shift, select the mask layer, press selection tool, right click the two selected layers and press merge layers. Now we need to rename this layer brush again, otherwise the action won't work. So double click and type brush. And now we're ready to apply the action. Let's very quickly check the selection. So I'll toggle the background off. There you can see the selection and what the action will be applied to. So toggle the background on. With the brush layer selected, window, actions, locate animated sand dust explosion, open that folder, press create sand dust explosion, and then simply click play. And this will run the action. This shouldn't take too long, but it might take a couple of minutes depending on your processor and RAM speed. So bear that in mind. So press play and await the results. And there you go, the effect is complete. So let's close the actions panel, press my selection tool. So let's quickly look at the layers panel to see how we can adjust this. So your color FX folder has your contrast and other layers you can toggle on or off. So let's close that. To change the color of the dust, you come to the dust color folder. Now you can do this in two ways. You can either select the primary or secondary color adjustment layers. So let's click primary and we can change the hue and that will change the color of the dust. Or if you come to this colorize dust manually layer, click that, turn it on, you can now fill this with any color you like using the paint bucket tool. So select that, let's select the foreground color, let's just go for a yellow, press OK, and then if we press to fill that layer, as you can see now that applies a yellow color to that layer, which then applies that to the dust. So you can add any color to this, or you can change it using the hue and other adjustment layers via the primary and secondary dust color adjustment layers. If you come to the dust folder, 
This is where you have all those individual layers and those individual brushes. So you can turn these on or off depending on preference. You could even duplicate them and create a larger effect. And finally, if we scroll to the bottom, if you want to adjust the background color, that's in these two here. So you've got a color fill one background, but then you've also got a gradient background layer, which is this one. This is predominantly right now what's affecting the background color. So if I double click that, press gradient, as you can see, I've got dark, almost kind of black colors. So if I double click these, I can then change the color accordingly. Now remember, there is a yellow effect applied to the layers in front of it. So obviously you'd have to turn that off to get the specific color on the background layer. But that's how you change the background anyway. Go to that background layer, gradient layer, and change accordingly. So there you have it. That's how to create this awesome looking dust or powder explosion effect in Photoshop using a simple action and a couple of clicks. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.